Hey guys, welcome back to Savage Sense Outdoors. I've got my garage going up today. The builders just gave me a call. They're gonna be here within an hour. So I've been looking forward to this for a long time. If you guys wanna see this concrete pad get poured, it's the last video I did on the channel and I'll try and put a link in this video for that one. So you guys can watch that and see the price breakdown if you wanna see that. But otherwise, I'm gonna ask these builders if they mind me putting my phone up on a tripod uh, just so I can get a, a time lapse of this thing going up for a video for you guys. So it's actually raining pretty bad. Not pretty bad, but it's, it's raining. I assume they're still coming, but I'm assuming that the uh, rain's not gonna stop for a couple hours. So I guess we'll see what they do but I'm not gonna be able to set up a tripod and make a time lapse in the rain. So that would be a little bit of a bummer. That's my garage. Man, so let's cut to nine o'clock at night here. They got this whole thing framed up. They got siding put on the back wall. Let me tell you, man, these guys work hard. They showed up at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. I work till nine o'clock, 10 hour day. And he says he's gonna show up at six in the morning tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I could be working on nine hours of sleep. Sorry, the video sucks. I really wanted to get a little bit of footage of this thing all framed up, kind of like the halfway point, but uh, I don't have any lights out here, unfortunately. But I'm uh, super happy about how this is going. I'm gonna show off too much before it's done but they got my my door in here they got two windows mocked up well not mocked up they're in i was a little they're not perfectly center which is a little bit annoying because what i asked for was center but uh they're set back a few feet from center and then the door you can see that stud was supposed to be coming down through the door. And the way I drew it up, I had this door three feet off the front corner. So they should have known that was gonna be there before they prefabbed this thing. And we even have the concrete marked out for the service door to be here. And he asked me, well, can we just move it so it's in between the studs? I said, no, I got the concrete poured the way it is. I I want the door to be where I planned the door to be. Like I said about the door though, I'll show you the plans I had drawn up. But anyway, here's the siding color. It's pebble beige gray or beige pebble. One of the two. And then I'm doing evergreen trim and evergreen roof. So should turn out schnazzy. I like the colors. A lot of my friends said, nah, tan and green is boring. It looks old, but I personally thought tan and green were pretty good colors for uh, a little ranch style house out in the country. I think they're good colors and it's my house. So I'm gonna get the colors I want. It's the next day. Sun is beautiful. And I've got a garage in my yard. <laughs> Man, it feels great to finally have this thing here. Let me show you around it. All in all, it came out looking beautiful. They did pretty good work. There's a couple things I'm not 100% happy about, but I think it's more so my own negligence as to why I'm not super happy about them. But in here, it feels way bigger than I was expecting, to be honest with you. Gonna have to squeegee all this water out and get a push broom for the garage, but these roll doors are one of the things. I knew I was gonna get them, but I wish I just had them do a frame out so I could add overhead doors. Now, don't get me wrong, they're super smooth and they go up easy. But I'm not a huge fan that they lock. 
from the outside and not the inside. But I'm thinking I'll run power to this thing. Once I have enough money for power and then uh, I won't have to lock it from the outside because I'll have power hooked up to the rolls. So it'll be nice to have power in here. For now, it'll be dark for a couple months, unfortunately. But anyways, we got pebble beige and evergreen for the colors. Turned out looking nice. I'm happy with the colors I picked. Not a whole lot to break down price-wise. When I first put in to order the building, I put down a 10% down payment, which was about $1,600. And then at the time the garage was built, it was another $15,600. So about 17 grand is what this costed. And if I was to do overhead doors instead of these, I would have saved two grand because it was a grand each for each roll up door. But then I would have had to order overhead doors down the line and it would have just been open. So I opted to do these doors for the time being. And I'm planning to put power on them. And then uh, we'll see how far I want to go with insulating this thing because you can't insulate roll doors. But next up on things to do, I got to get gravel in here. I can't drive in here yet. There's still a ditch here from when we poured the concrete. And actually on the side back here, I'm gonna need a lot of material to fill in. Cause it was sloped out so bad. So I got, I gotta build up at least a dump truck worth of gravel over here. Maybe not a whole dump truck worth. I think one more dump truck will help me get the grade out front here all the way around and then I'll put some more gravel up against the concrete, but otherwise I'll probably use topsoil to fill this in so I can grow some nice grass again. But anyway, I mean, this thing took them a total of about 16 hours to put up all together. Turned out looking really nice. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to drop them in the comments. I don't have any complaints about this thing yet, but maybe there'll be another video in the future. But anyways, if you guys have questions on the building, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'm gonna be doing more work to this thing. So hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see some more work done to this metal garage and please like the video because it's a free way to support the channel. So thanks guys. See you next time.